So, a couple of days ago, spring arrived suddenly in Shanghai. So, I rented a blue bicycle, cycled down to Lupu Dachau, and put the drone up above Hutan Gardens. This was a video never intended to be in one of our episodes, but it seems sort of interesting, so here you go. Enjoy it. I'm looking, I'm just sort of setting up here on the drone, about 40 meters, maybe 15 meters high. And I'm going to fly over um, a nesting area, a breeding area of birds. I think these birds are Chinese pond herons, but they might be little egrets. I haven't been able to find out. There are hundreds and hundreds of them in the trees here. So the drone is at the moment in what's called cine mode, which means it moves fairly um, slowly at about so like five to six meters a second. And it does move a lot faster or slower depending on the wind as well. So I have to decide where to sit and control based on the wind direction and how fast I want this thing to get back to me and it begins to run out of power. So now we're looking upstream to the Huangpu. See the lovely river traffic, all the barges, some laden, some not. They will turn into the mainland so you can begin to see the, uh, the new construction that's happening along, along here. No idea what these things are going to be. And you can also see in the middle ground, disappearing to the right, is an installation of a new Chinese garden, um, which will be a new addition to this riverside park, I guess. And then a lot of the stuff on the, on the right-hand side is brand new. And then you can see now in the main the middle of the picture are these water filtration ponds of the Hutan Gardens, which take grade five polluted water from the Huangpu and make it grade two by the time it gets to the, the bridge in the distance. I am controlling the drone um, invisibly from the so ubiquitous guards that patrol the park and everywhere in China. Um, so you can't see me. You can see, if you go look at the, the bridge and just sort of move along to the left hand side, um, in the haze you can see Shanghai Tower. It almost reaches the top of the frame. Um, and just beside it, on the right hand side, is very, very faintly you can see the, um, the World Financial Center. And then back to the middle ground, you can see a six lane highway emerging from a river tunnel that comes obviously from the other side of the river. And these ponds continue. It's a lovely walk down here, especially in the springtime. This is obviously in the late, um, late winter here. All the docks here are completely unused along the river. There used to be an old ferry terminal there, that's, that's cool. There's no ferry that crosses close to the Lupu Dacha, the Lupu Bridge here. Normally, whenever you get to a bridge over the Huangpu, there'll be a ferry terminal because, because scooters um, and, and people, pedestrians, cannot cross the bridges, only cars. And, and, and trucks can. So there's usually a ferry crossing to take scooters and people, but not here. Don't know why. You can also see the top of the Mercedes Arena um, in a sort of distance, just beyond the bridge. Right in the middle of the picture now, it's a sort of that white dome. Um, and that will become a little bit clearer as we move more. This is now the bit sort of the end of these these ponds. Um, I think I begin to tilt the the lens of the camera down so it might look as if we are getting lower but, but we're not. That cycle way you can see right below you, that's the one that goes on for twenty six kilometers through the park like that. It's really it's a wonderful day out. 
Actually, if you, if you end at um, Palana's German bar at the top of the top of the path, I think this is going to now swing up, and we'll get to see the um, the bridge in all its glory. There's Mercedes Arena coming into view. This is early morning sun catching the bridge. It's uh, well, there's the Shanghai Tower under the bridge in the haze. There we are. See you next time. Bye bye.